Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today for the 10th day of our Shirley Advent Calendar. My letter today is J. I've chosen the word joy. Joy is a special word for me for a number of reasons, including the fact that I have a sister and a daughter who share the name Joy. Joy, however, is more than a name or a feeling, and I wanted to explore this a little more today, in the next few minutes, so that you will, I hope and pray, understand the true meaning of joy this Christmas. In thinking about joy, I was taken back to a day as a teenager living in Chester, when I experienced being part of a special event that took place in the town, which was a wedding for a member of the Duke of Westminster's family at Chester Cathedral. The city was buzzing. We all took our places around the cathedral, cheering as the dignitaries and family arrived, including members of the royal family and the bride in all her finery. We all felt part of that occasion. However, the time came when the cathedral doors closed and I'm afraid that's where my involvement ended. I went home warm and happy to have been part of the day, but really aware that actually I was only a bystander and not an invited guest. This reminded me of how many people view Christmas and that they enjoy the occasion as bystanders only, not experiencing the true joy of personal involvement. There's fun and excitement and nostalgia in all the trimmings of the carols, lights, tree, gifts, and feel that this is what Christmas is all about. But really all they're doing is being a bystander and missing the main event. The true joy of Christmas is found in the fact that we can experience something deeper. Unlike the cathedral door, the stable door is open with all free to enter, kings and shepherds, you and I. The baby Jesus was, and still is, God's invitation to enter and participate fully as an invited guest, a member of God's family. And all we have to do is accept the invitation and know God's wonderful capacity to forgive all those things that would create a barrier and shut us out. Maybe this year, as many of us have re-evaluated everything in our lives, maybe this year would be a good opportunity to re-evaluate our relationship with God and know the true joy of Christmas. The angel announced the source of true joy to the shepherds on that first Christmas night. Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which shall be for all the people. For today in the city of David, there has been born for you a saviour, who is Christ the Lord. This Christmas, would you like to step into the warmth of all the stable offered, into the presence of God's son, Jesus, and enjoy the true joy of Christmas as an invited guest and not as a bystander? Mm -hmm. 